the tiniest more, bit of concave. You have, you have this. <laughs> Whoever gets the first tray on this gets this old passport board. Oh! Been here for a minute. The second that we he wanted to start filming, a thousand people showed up. Also, a weed whacker. That was like the whole rail. That was sick. Was it? That was like the longest people I've ever seen you do. I think that's the longest one I've ever done. Second try. Ooh. Sounds like you should try it at the first bar. You reckon? Yeah. He has a brand new pair of shoes. It doesn't affect Sean at all. I feel like Sean skates better with new stuff. Yeah, you got that. Just pop over next time if you start slowing down. You were perfect. Oh. Got it. See my bullet. That was so sick. You haven't even been skating that much lately. It looks like you're better. How about you do another feeble in it, but you pop out early to the other side? Shit, I can try. Okay. There you go. If you make your tail touch, it's like the easiest thing. Yeah, once you make your tail touch, you're automatically it out of it. It seems like that's all you need to do is just put your foot on the rail or the tail on the rail and then you're out. Yeah. Maybe I could do a front smith. You can absolutely do a front smith. Go get him, Tiger. That was a good one. First go. That was like the whole rail almost. Yeah, it looks like whenever you start leaning the wrong way or like slightly losing balance, you just give up on the trick. You just gotta fully commit to the end no matter how you lock in. I just wanna be able to hop out and my body be ready for the landing because I don't wanna loop out. You won't loop out. I feel like if, sometimes like you'll screw up in the middle of the rail and lose your balance and then by the end of the rail, you can regain gain it. Yeah. So just like I always commit to the end of the obstacle, never where I'm falling at the moment because a lot of times you can just hold on. Especially when it's like a pinchy grind like a smith on a round Yeah, bar. it can really get in and pinch this one. Yeah, exactly. Alright, hopefully this guy. It's a scary trick, back tail on the rail. Absolutely. He's gotta redo it because he looks like a poser with that knee thing. I had to, that's the only way I could adjust my weight. My shoulders are like I'm, I was too zoomed in on your legs to see what your upper body uh, was doing. Do it again. Again? <laughs> nah, that was fine. <laughs> Ow, dude, don't hit me. <laughs> uh, what else? You think you can 50-50 the whole thing? Front or back? Whatever. Jesus, I don't know. You want to 50-50 the whole ledge? I would rather do that. Okay, sure. let's do that. All right. We had a little long 50-50 conversation earlier about how to hold 50-50s on ledges. We did. Yeah. You got to hold it down like the front foot. Front foot holds, like your back foot's kind of like light, and then your front foot's actually which keeps you from coming unlocked. So a yeah. lot of people... If you're 50 50 ledges and you keep rolling onto the ledge, it's because you're not putting enough weight on your front foot. You gotta like hold that truck against. It's like, a, it's like probably 80% front foot, 20% back here. Absolutely, opinion. yeah. Maybe or like, more. yeah, like seven, yeah, yeah, 75, mm -hmm. 30, or whatever it would be. Yeah, okay. So you kept doing that earlier, he would pop out early out of habit. I got off my front foot, that's what happened. Yep. Whenever I'm trying to do a long 50 or a long grind, I think of Pedro Delfino and how sometimes he'll lock in completely wrong, but it is by sheer willpower, he'll make it to the end because he just fully commits no matter what. You reckon that's the way? That's the way. You need to have that John Cardiel, Pedro Delfino mindset. I don't want to be like, Ooh. I just yeah. want to like. I think a blah, 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 blah is cool though. I think it looks better. Yeah. And All plus right. you get to land it in less tries if you land that one. You don't have to wait for the sturdy one. Then you can come back I like and the sturdy one from the jump up. That's my favorite style. Sturdy. You like that structured shit? Yeah. I'm that age now, you know? <laughs> You're a conservative skateboarder. <laughs> Fuck! You son of a bugger. Front foot all day. Yeah.
He just wants the kick loop up and then crook down the hubba. But he is nervous about the kick loop up. I know he's got though. There you go. Just jump. He's having a little bit of problems with his last resorts. He said it's squishing his tootsies. I was going to do a review video, but I didn't want to because there's already a ton. But I'm a size nine and a half, ten, or nine in Converse. These, the toe box is really short. So if you have short, stubby feet, it might be okay. But my toes keep jamming the front of the toe box and it's not fun. Mm. So yeah, I don't know if I'll get another pair, but it was worth the try. They look pretty. They look cool. I look like I'm a mature skater, you know? Well, that's stuck. This ledge is just tall enough to be like an actual street ledge. Like it's a slightly uncomfortably tall. Damn, that is like kind of a tall back tail. It was looking good until it wasn't. The front tail was sick. Did you put some wax on it? Is that what I smell? Mm. Yeah. Look, he literally just waxed it. Look at it, it already melted. You can see it. Oh, that's gross. Said it was going to be like 25 degrees today. 25 degrees is not. Oh my God, it's already melted. 80 Fahrenheit, I think. Yeah. 79, 80. You're going fast. It was okay. You're going really fast. You're gonna have to push. I can't switch push. What do you mean you can't switch can't push? Switch push, watch. I'm watching. Uh, yeah, you should like spend the day fixing that. You need to learn how to switch push. I put an entire day aside to learn how to switch push one day and how to switch turn, kick turn on quarter pipes and switch carve. And it was a very important day for me. You need to have that day soon. Because switch push is mandatory. Oh, oh, <laughs> that looked crazy. <laughs> it's like baby's first push. Oh, you reckon front side will allow me to get on a bit better? You're gonna have to push. You reckon? Yeah, you're gonna not gonna be able to clear your half cap flip down there. I'll get really fast on 180 up. Okay. I love that he's trying to work his run around switch pushing instead of just learning how to switch push. Spend the day. I literally could figure it out in an hour. Like when I pull it, it feels like my weight's gonna go this way. Yeah, fix that. Repetition, baby. I'm gonna have to push. You gotta go faster than that. We're gonna push, huh? You could go faster and not push. Yeah! You still almost did it though, next try. He what? keeps not going because he's gonna shit his pants. That was awesome. <laughs> that was better. That was a really good half cap flip. When you start roasting those, I never. I, back in Australia, I could do them. I never did them until like until now. Oh no, I did a half cap flip one day at El Sereno down the little bank where it has the three stairs with the rail. But you said it into the bank. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying you're doing it like down stuff. That was a good flick. Thank you. That was the a catch fan. was a bit shitty, but I'll take it because my stomach hurts. Reckon you could get an ollie? Ollie? On the chode? Oh! We're going. We're going straight to braille mode. What you do is you get a skateboard, you somehow change it up, and then you spend three hours trying to kickflip it. Is that what they do? That's every video they've ever done. Kickflip everything. And half the time they don't even get to the kickflip. Oh! Okay, wait, there's one side that has oh. the other. I think you gotta use the back corner to pop. It looks terrifying. No. It feels Where great. Can you go? It looks like a fence paling. 
Oh yeah, you got it. Ah! You have to use the corners to pop. Yeah? Yeah, because it's like... Diagonally. There's, there's no leverage here. Uh -huh. There's no leverage over here. Yep. Oh. oh! Oh! I'll try to really make it stick to my front foot and, and properly do it this time. Yep. How many goes is that? First try. <laughs> oh, it's God, it was first try. Ah! Oh, did you, did you? <laughs> oh, is, is it a make, is it a make? You tell me. It's I'm just the tiniest bit of, bit of concave. You have, you have this. A well, little bit, leverage. about five centimeters of concave. Oh, get out. You just ask which is the nose, there is no nose. What do you mean? He was like, which is the nose? There's no nose. Oh, no way. That was like, what, how many goes is that? Like four or five. Oh, right on grind. Right on grind that side. <laughs> um. Jeez, what do you mean, um, you know where you're going. I mean, maybe. You're just gonna go as fast as you can and float it. Did you get hurt? <laughs> I feel like I was cheating. How do you mean cheating? You did it. There's no ollie. It's just you. There's no way to ollie that. What are you talking about? That was sick. What else can we do on this? It's probably it. That's probably it, huh? So Whoever gets the first tray on this gets this old passport first board. Yeah. So I already got it. Strokes. <laughs> You're sponsored. Oh, he yeah. almost did it. He almost got it. He just almost, he just almost got it. Oh. oh. Do you see what I mean? There's like no tail. Nothing, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh! Yeah. Here you go, sir. Hell yeah, dude. Bam. Yeah. The ace, you know right, ace, dude. What's that? Ace. Oh, is that what they are? Yeah, it just needs new bushings. Yeah, I think the back truck needs new bushings because oh, yeah. it like turns real funky. So simple, right? there you go, dude. Red, I want you to go to his house. Blow that joint up. Don't let nobody out. Oh, get trigger man. Bring him to me because I'm tired of this trigger man stuff in Tennessee. Now all the time while this stuff is going on, I called up another roadie on my flip phone. Junior, I want you to call down the Texas. Special order me a 1994 Lexus.